but I'm going to follow this pretty much. Join us for lively discussion about the A-State community. Each week, we'll meet with a variety of faculty, staff, and students to discuss all things Arkansas State University. Live from the ASU TV studios in the School of Media and Journalism, this is A-State Connections. And this is A-State Connections on KASU and ASU-TV. I'm Jonathan Reeves, Academic Advisor for the School of Media and Journalism in the Department of Communication at Arkansas State. The annual Created State Research Symposium takes place soon at Arkansas State University. And here to tell us about this year's event is Vice Provost for Research and Technology Transfer and Executive Director of the Arkansas Biosciences Institute at Arkansas State, Dr. Tom Risch and Director of Student Research at Arkansas State University's Office of Research and Technology Transfer, Carrie Harris. Thank you both for joining us here today. Appreciate it. Thank you. Thanks, Jonathan. So first, Dr. Risch, what is Created State and how did this start at Arkansas State? So Created State is our annual symposium of student research uh, presentations on campus. And it's really the culmination of our year-long events of supporting student research, be it either through our research office with Carrie's Office of Student Research, or all the individual professors throughout the department and colleges on campus. It's been going on for a number of years. It started in the research office and previous administrations, and has grown over the years into the three-day uh, long event that we have currently. So we're very proud of it, and uh, the students just do amazing work that we celebrate. I know that you all are really excited about, about this, and Carrie, I was gonna ask you about the kinds of research that's available at Arkansas State, or at the Created State, uh, and also at Arkansas State, too, I guess. <laughs> um, that's kind of a tough question, because there are so many different kinds of research available at Arkansas State, um, but if you come to Created State, you will see a representation of not all the research happening on campus, but just you know, portions of it, but from every discipline. So um, we have over 180 abstracts submitted representing uh, seven colleges across campus, everything from uh, nursing to College of Science and Math to ag to um, uh, lang language arts and English, it just ev everybody's presenting. So it's gonna be a really fun event. And so how long does it take for you, Carrie, to be able to work with students to get ready for something like this, to be able to compile the research, the abstracts, all that? I imagine that this is something that takes quite a while to do. You know, I, I think we're all working on it collaboratively as an institution, and it's different levels of effort for every person. So for some, some students, there are, um, you know, they're working on this for years and years at a time. So that's a very long process to get their research to a place where it's being presented. And um, some people, you know, they're just starting and so they're just um, presenting. Um, I, I work on it pretty much year round, getting students ready. And not just for Created State, but also for other research symposiums, because we have students go across the country, is that correct? Yes. Yeah, so. Uh in a couple weeks, actually the week before CREATE, we're taking three van loads of uh, students to uh, Eau Claire, Wisconsin. Wow. For the National uh, under, uh, Council of Undergraduate Research event. So that's a national, very prestigious uh, conference that the students had to have their abstracts uh, accepted to. And uh, we're going to have a strong showing this year, so we're excited about that. I want, I want to talk about the ideas uh, or the, the areas of, uh, of research that are made available because of what Arkansas State has done to place the importance of research on. We're an R2 institution uh, of, of research. Dr. Risch, can you kind of explain what that is and why that's important? Yeah, so being an R2 institution is a very important designation for, for Arkansas State University. So it's uh, characterized by the Carnegie Institution that does this nationally. And R2 means we're a national research institution, uh, we're doctoral granting, and we have a high activity of research. So in Arkansas State's case, 
uh, were particularly special in my mind because we're not so huge that the students wouldn't work uh, with their professors or in studios like this where we're working with students today. Students have real access to equipment, activities, laboratories, uh, the Fowler Center, and uh, we have world-class uh, researchers, uh, people involved in creative activities, like a national research institution, which we are, but we're able to give hands-on, very one-on-one -on -one support to students, both graduate and undergraduate students. And what are the advantages or benefits of that, Dr. Risch? Well, some of the most significant learning goes on in the class, outside of the classroom. So we all remember our classes, we get a lot of foundational knowledge from our classes, but when we reflect back on our, our college years, it's gonna be the things that you did outside of the classroom that might be the most impactful and are typically the things you remember the best. So if you pick on any class during the year, that might not be your most vivid memories 20 years later, but I suspect working with a professor one-on-one, -on -one, side by side, um, in her laboratory or in her studio is what really resonates with students uh, after graduation. And it's those special skills that they gain that typically is what gain, gain them their employment. Carrie, you can speak to this firsthand, can't you? Oh, absolutely. Um, so this is an area that I've worked on for quite, quite a few years um, as the the club coordinator for the College of Science and Mathematics, you know, before my current position, sure. but also just working with students. Um, we did a, um, a club, a natural history collections club, and we had students actually learning outside of the classroom and g gaining skills and experiences to help them um, work on the, the collections themselves. Right. Well, one thing I wanted to ask you about, Carrie, is when you're thinking about, and this is what I think is really cool, a lot of people may think of research being something on a graduate level, uh, where you have students and that they're working graduate post, you know, getting ready for the doctoral degrees. But here at Arkansas State, it's like we want undergraduates to be involved in this. Absolutely. Yeah. So um, we, one thing I really like about Arkansas State is you can get involved in research from a freshman level. So, you know, usually at a research institution, you might have to wait until later. Here, you can you can walk in as a freshman and you can start getting involved in a research opportunity or in a, a, a project um, from day one. So right now I have a class called the First Year Research Experience and I'm working with uh, freshman level students to do real time research projects. So we're working with Hytrol and actually solving problems that Hytrol has with freshman students. So these computer science and engineering students are getting amazing hands-on experience and you know they're getting to talk to these professionals locally um, as freshmen. And those collaborations are important. Go ahead. Dr. Yeah, just to follow up on that is there's, there's research nationally that shows when students get involved with those kinds of uh, activities, it improves uh, their retention and graduation rates and even performance and student success. So that extra outside of the classroom creative activities that student gets involved in is not only important for the institution to get out in the community and to help uh, causes, but it actually helps students in their success uh, as uh, undergraduates. And then also, as she was talking about with Hytrol, it also helps solve some of the local community problems that are there that employers are having. Exactly. It's important to be able to have that, that local partnership uh, between Arkansas State and uh, employers or the communities uh, in, in that regard, and I guess that's what Created State does. It does, and uh, that's also a characteristic of uh, research institutions that are involved with their communities. Very good. So tell us about when the Created State uh, Symposium is going to be. Carrie, kind of give us some information about that. Yeah, so uh, this year we're doing a little bit different on our schedule for Created State. So we're running it from Tuesday to Thursday. So it will be Tuesday, April 18th through Thursday, April 20th um, in the Student Union. Okay, and is it a different schedule from what had been done previously? Yeah, so typically um, 
the past several years we've ran it from Monday through Wednesday, but that didn't give us any setup time at all. Sure, <laughs> so, right. Uh, this year we are going to set up on Monday and uh -huh. start the event on Tuesday. Very good. What do you enjoy most about Created State? Dr. Rish, I want to ask you this question. Yeah, too. that's such a fun question because it's different every year. So having this variety of research from across campus, I'm always exposed to new things and I'm learning. So there's always some students from outside of my area, you know, being in the bio biological sciences, that just really impresses me uh, with their commitment, their knowledge, and their passion for what they're doing. And I'm always learning new things. And so I guess the straight answer to the question is that I'm always learning new things every year. Yeah, Carrie, what's your favorite part about this? I love getting to interact with the students. You know, um, a lot of times I'm just in my office on the sixth floor and I don't always get to interact with students as much as I would love to. Right. But during Create at State, it's like three solid days that I'm just in it with the students, seeing their different research, helping them get set up, and it's, it's so fun. Yeah, so is it going to be, uh, going back to Created State, the 18th through the 20th, is it going to be kind of spread out all over the student union, or how is that going to work? We are going to be set up on the third floor of the student union. Um, all the posters will be in Centennial Hall, and the presentations will take place uh, in the various meeting rooms, like the Mockingbird Room and the Auditorium and the river rooms. Okay, very good. So we're going to continue talking. When we come back, we're going to talk about judging, because I know this is going to be something very important, judging competitions uh, and that, and, and the partnership about uh, about that. Also, Dr. Rish, I, I want to talk more about, in the next segment, the Arkansas Biosciences Institute, how that came to be to Arkansas State, and what's going on there, because that itself is a fantastic story. It really is, and we'll talk about that here coming up just a little bit. Vice Provost for Research and Technology Transfer and Executive Director of Arkansas Biosciences Institute at Arkansas State University is Dr. Tom Risch, and Director of Student Research at Arkansas State is Carrie Harris. We will continue this conversation after this timeout. We'll be right back. All right, so that we all know. ASU TV, shows like Red Wolf Roundtable, ASU TV News, West Side Football, and more. Gain real life experience while doing what you love. Get involved with ASU TV today. Are you looking for an education that will take you places? At Arkansas State University, we're preparing students for success in today's ever-changing job market. With expert faculty and cutting-edge technology, we're creating an environment where students can thrive and reach their full potential. And with a diverse student body and a supportive community, you'll find plenty of options to get involved and make lifelong connections. Discover all that Arkansas State University has to offer. Apply today and start your journey to a brighter future. Red Wolf Radio is a student-led organization at Arkansas State University wanting to hear your takes on pop culture, music, the news, and college life. Just about anything you can think of. Located in the Education and Communications building on campus, we are always looking for more volunteers. So if you're an Arkansas State University student, no matter the major, and this is something that interests you, shoot us an email at redwolfradio at astate.edu. That's redwolfradio at astate.edu. Let them hear you how. At Arkansas State, we want you to go. Go where learning soars, takes flight, and rockets ahead. Go for experiences, internships, and scholarships. We want you to go. Become A State Maine. Are you ready to go? Go.astate.edu for details. Live from the ASU TV studios in the School of Media and Journalism, this is A-State Connections. And welcome back to A-State Connections on KASU and ASU TV. We're continuing our conversation today about the annual Created State Symposium with Vice Provost for Research and Technology Transfer and Executive Director of the Arkansas Biosciences Institute at Arkansas State, Dr. Tom Risch, 
and Director of Student Research at Arkansas State University's Office of Research and Technology Transfer, Carrie Harris. Thank you both for coming back for the second segment of A State Connections. So, Dr. Rish, one of the things I want to ask you about is just what I think is a, a major research hub. That's the Arkansas Biosciences Institute that's here on campus, a beautiful building that has a lot of great uh, things that are going on. Give us the story about the, uh, ABI, if you don't mind, please. Sure. So, ABI, you're right. It's a very special resource for us here at Arkansas State University. And it came about from the tobacco settlement um, when the state's attorney generals nationwide sued the tobacco companies for the cost that smoking has been putting on states in terms of health care. So Arkansas gets very high marks for how they use this money from the settlement, um, including uh, stop smoking programs and other health programs. But the ABI is the research arm of the settlement. So Arkansas Biosciences Institute is a consortium of five institutions. It's us here at Arkansas State University. It's the University of Arkansas at Fayetteville. It's the University of Arkansas Division of Agriculture. It's uh, the uh, University of Arkansas for Medical Sciences and it's Children's Hospital, which is also in Little Rock. So these five institutes together each have a piece of ABI. And on our campus, of course, we have a facility. We have a 100,000 th square foot state-of-the-art research building mm -hmm. that houses faculty from across uh, campus, including some uh, guests that we have. We have some researchers from the NYIT uh, DO school, uh, so the, the, the medical college here on campus, right. uh, osteopathic medical school. And we also have uh, guests from the uh, USDA, United States Department of Agriculture, Arc, uh, agri agricultural Research Services that are housed there. And all the faculty from those two inst entities are adjunct at our university, so they advise our graduate students, they have undergraduates in the lab, we have these mixed labs with federal employees and our students and medical students and medical professionals uh, working with our students, so it really creates a dynamic atmosphere. And the Biosciences Institutes has a mission to improve the health of our Kansans through medical and agricultural research. Um, important for CREATE, we have uh, some student programs there. We have graduate research assistantships, both in the uh, Molecular Biosciences program and the Environmental Sciences program. And then we have different fellowships for undergraduates to get involved. One of those is targeted at early career uh, undergraduates, so it's capped at 60 hours. So we get students involved right away when they get on campus. And when ABI funds them, now we have people that have special skills that uh, are valuable to professors. So when the professors get their research grants, they keep the students in the labs. And it's not uncommon for a student to have a four-year run in someone's laboratory. Wow. And they end up with uh, three publications by the time uh, they, they graduate, for example. That came to mind because there's a student graduating this year with three publications. And a lot of these uh, students are interested in med school when they first come in, and a lot of them do go on to med school, but a lot of them switch into research, and then some of them will want to do MD-PhDs after graduation. Mm -hmm. So it's really special, and we also do some outreach where we have uh, uh, K through 12 students come through the building. And one of the cool things now that ABI has been on campus for over 20 years is we have students that first came through when they were in uh, grade school. They toured the building then, then they ended coming to A State, working in the building, and then they come back and do PhDs in the building. Yeah, wow. So it really impacts the lives of a lot of the students in our local area, and I'm very proud of that. Yeah, it, it really does, and, and I know that uh, that is what is so exciting about seeing people be able to find their passion because Carrie, we've talked about this before how there have been some people or maybe a lot of students have said oh research really i don't really want to go into research but then they actually find something they're passionate about and everything changes absolutely you know um research is a lot broader than what i think a lot of people think of when they first hear the term research, mm -hmm. um, which, you know, it does encompass like that traditional sense of scientific research, like 
doing research in the lab and that kind of thing. But there's research involved in just about every single career. And so once they find the different types of research in their field of study that they're interested in, you know, it just brings a new depth to what they're, what they're working on. One of the things that is really cool about Created State is, we'll, we'll talk about this for the next couple of minutes, local industry representatives who come in from area employers and they actually serve as judges for the competitions at Created State. Tell us how that works. That's right. Uh, so that's actually coordinated through our advancement office and uh, Tristan Arquette is uh, helping with that this year. She is contacting local businesses uh, to, you know, have people come in and judge that are experts or near experts or professionals in a certain field. Um, you know, maybe they are local, maybe they are alumni, maybe they are like friends of A-State, something like that. Um, but it gives them a chance to come to campus and see what's happening on campus and, and you know, they get a connection, but then that gives our students a chance to connect with these people who are off campus. And it gives them the opportunity to showcase what they've been doing in a situation where the student themselves is the expert. So they're talking to this person who's a professional, maybe a professional in a field they're really interested in working in, maybe somebody that they'll work with in the future that might be an employer or somebody like that, and they're telling them about like what this, like what they as a student are doing um, that they are an expert in and they get to share that, that information. I can only imagine how valuable those critiques, Dr. Rish, are from people who are in the field and who know exactly what you know what, what what students would need? That's just that's that's another huge benefit, I would imagine. It is, it is. Um, so the students get to really show their stuff when they're when they're put in that situation. So it could be a research project or a creative project that they've been working on for months or years, and they get just a few minutes to talk to somebody who is in their field and get to demonstrate all these competencies in that period of time. So this can result in internships I've seen and it can result in employment opportunities and it works both ways. I mean, one of the funniest things uh, one of our outside constituents said to me one time was, I don't want to talk to adults when I come to campus. So they're yearning to talk to our students. <laughs> right. Say so they don't want to talk to the professors or get into the weeds of their research. They want to see what our students are doing and what our students are learning. And there's no better forum than this. And really a tip of our hat to the advancement office for, for working with us for doing this. It, it really makes the event special. They do such phenomenal work. Yes. They, they really do. They, they, I know they help put this all together, and that's fantastic. Oh, Carrie, you may get this question from students, and I didn't write this on the sheet, so I'm sorry about that. Why should students get involved in Created State? I mean, I know we talked a little bit about this, but you know, what, what does it do for them to be able to be involved in, in, in something like this? There are many reasons. Um, so for one thing, like we've been talking about, just the opportunity to uh, meet with these community members who are potential future employers, who might be experts in their field, and just kind of get that interaction and that feedback. It's a, it's a really great networking experience for them. Um, but it's also an opportunity for them to showcase what they're doing to their peers and see what their peers are doing. So I, it's this wonderful collaborative effort where we're supporting each other. You know, we have people who the very first time they ever present anything is at Created State. And we have people who, it, you know, it might be their 15th time to present. Sure. And they're in the same room presenting one right after the other, which is wonderful because it doesn't matter what level of experience they have at all. This is a situation where we're coming together and we are helping each other and supporting each other as an A-State community just, you know, to make sure that all of our students have an opportunity to gain these presentation skills. When it's over, and that's one of the things I didn't ask you about what you might enjoy about Created State Carry is when is when it's over. I didn't I didn't <laughs> want to go to that part because I know you worked really hard on that. But at the end of Created State is the award ceremony. This is my my favorite part of this. 
just being able to see the, the, the amazing work that students are getting rewarded for. Tell us about the award ceremony that'll be coming up. Okay, so yeah, this is probably the main benefit that the students might see. This is the real tangible benefit because by presenting at Create at State, students can win awards. So <laughs> that means they, um, they can actually walk away from Create at State with a check written personally to them. Um, we have awards, two or three awards in um, every college, you know, awards for graduate students, awards for undergraduate students. So we do the best oral presentation per college, the best undergraduate oral presentation, the best poster presentation, um, and so on. So I think last year we gave um, about $10,000 total in monetary awards to our student winners. So wow. Yeah, um, you know, so so there's definitely something to be had there, but it's really exciting to see the award ceremony and to see all the students come together um, and to announce those, you get to announce the winners. I so do. I know that's your favorite part. Y yeah, absolutely. Uh, <laughs> Excited about that, that'd be fun. Yeah, so, you know, we announce the winners and their peers are there, their advisors are there, we're there, we get to shake their hands, we get to celebrate them. Um, and then all year it's like, oh yeah, this is one of my created state winners. And so you know, these are students that often, not always, but typically they're students that are going on other trips with me that I'm interacting with throughout the year on different projects and, yes. and things. And so it's, you know, it's exciting for everyone. Fantastic. As we wrap this up, thank you both for being here today. How do people get more information about Created State? Okay. They, um, they can go to our website. So if you go to the astate.edu website, there's a research tab. You can go to student research. You can find the Create a State page. Um, and I'm trying to push most information there. They can also email me at kharris at astate.edu for any other information. And it's April 18th through the 20th. That's a Tuesday through, the thurs through Thursday. Mm -hmm. uh, they're at the uh, Carl R. Ring Student Union, third floor. That's right? right. Awesome. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Dr. Tom Risch. Carrie Harris, thank you. Thanks for thank having you. us. Appreciate you all for being here today. Well, that'll do it for this edition of A-State Connections. As I said, I want to thank Dr. Tom Risch and also Carrie Harris. Also want to thank instructor of creative media production, Galen Perkins, and his amazing students who are always running this show behind the scenes. Thank you all for that. Also, thanks to engineers Derek Herring and Clayton Holderfield for their help. And thank you for watching. I'll see you right here next Wednesday at 1.30 for another edition of A-State Connections. So long, everybody.